Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. This question is from Parth Joshi. Um, his question is, is it necessary to use more than one settings file when using more than one apps? Um, so I, I'm not exactly clear on your question, but I think what you're asking is, do you need to have more than one settings file per Django project? Because if you're talking about all sorts of apps, every sort of app like Angular or um, React, they have in Django, but they all have different settings, right? But if you're referring to Django itself and how in some of our projects we have multiple setting files, um, this is actually very important for testing locally and going live. It's also important for letting other people or other developers use your code too. So yes, in many cases, it's, it's very good to have multiple settings files um, because your production server or your production settings file actually shouldn't have any secret keys in there or raw secret keys. You wanna put those into environment variables for your production as much as possible. That's a secure way to do it, the much more secure way to do it. And also that way you can push your code, your production code to a GitHub repository or Git repository, whether it's GitHub or um, Bitbucket, you can actually push it there and then your secret keys are no longer there. So that is true about your Django secret key as well as all your other sort of passwords and, and authentication keys that you might have inside of that settings code. So yes, it is very recommended to have multiple settings keys, um, especially for local testing. And since you're probably gonna be doing local testing, there's a really good chance that you'll have multiple settings files. Now, that being said, if you use environment variables, you actually can use one single settings file for those environment variables. But when you're testing new apps, so like Django apps, as in you know new models and, and stuff like that, then you probably would wanna have different settings files because if you're working on it locally and you don't actually push that app in production yet, like you're actually testing it, then it makes sense to have those di two different apps. So definitely, like overall, I would say yes, having two settings files is a good idea. Thanks for the question. Um, if you guys have any others, check out joincfe.com slash knock and ask your questions there. Thanks so much.